Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. As I release this video, it's May of 2023, and Father's Day is coming up June 18th. And if you've got a dad that's a tractor enthusiast, I've got a lot of great products on my website for dad. And a lot of them are unique. You won't find them very many other places. And uh, I have full disclosure here, the website's how I make my money. Uh, it's how I have a, a salesperson who you'll meet here in a few minutes that works with me and uh, family members that work on this project as well. But we're gonna show you a product today uh, that is very handy for the guy that's got a chainsaw and he wants a way to get in the, to the field on his tractor. It's called Sawhaul, S-A-W-H-A-U-L. It's been on the market a few years, but they've got a new version of it that you may not know about that takes it to a whole new level. I'm installing the original Sawhaul on my tractor today and basically it's a bracket, a scabbard, uh, hardware, and then a bar and a U-bolt. And basically what I'm going to do today, how you install it, is you take some Allen bolts that come with the kit that have recessed heads. I'll show you right there. It's an Allen bolt there and it's recessed. And you put that through the bar on the back side so it mounts flush and you insert your scabbard bracket in there. And then the toughest part of the whole install is getting these nylock nuts to start. And you can kind of come in from the top, but it's a little bit tricky to get them going. There's the, uh, the bar and there's the Allen bolts. And you can see I've got them started there with the 9 16 nylock nuts going through. And we'll tighten this up real quick. For this part of the install, all you need is a 7 32nd Allen wrench, and I prefer the socket style, and a 9 16 inch open end wrench. There we go. That's what it looks like. We take the U bolt, mount that to the loader arm, and you've got, to, and then snap your scabbard in place, and you've got a way of hauling your chainsaw to the field. Let's finish this up. Now the rest of the install is real easy. Put your U-bolt around your loader bracket, position it where you want it, put the nuts on, and all you really need for this is a level eye and a three-quarter inch socket, and get it where you want it, get it level, and you're good to go. Now, a couple things, uh, options on this product. Uh, you need to know what size tractor is going on so we know how big a U-bolt to send. This one is the standard one for smaller tractors and it works on anything from a small subcompact up through a uh, utility tractor. Uh, if you get into the larger tractors, like 100 horse or so, uh, you may, may need a different one. Uh, also, the scabbard size, you need to measure the chainsaw blade that it's going to go on. Uh, the one I've got is a 20 inch, which will fit a lot of your standard chainsaws, but if you've got a longer blade, uh, they also come in 28 and 36 inch. And also, on the subject of the scabbard, if you want it to match uh, at least the letters on the scabbard, the saw hall, to match the color of your tractor, uh, you can order it in uh, green, orange, red, blue, and yellow. I guess if you're a Minneapolis Moline guy. And for an upcharge. And I just got black because I'm cheap. Alright, that's tight. That's tight. That's pretty close to level. Oh, there is a, a little tool holder in the end of the scabbard there on the, on the side. And that goes on the outside of the bracket. So get that where you want it. Lock it in place. And you're good to go to the field with your chainsaw. Now the next product takes this to a whole new level. Watch. Hello everybody, I'm Brian with Ash Tractor Mike and uh, today we've, we've kind of got a product that we're going to test out and install and uh, see what we think about it. This is Sawhall's new SLS system which is a snap lock system um, and, and basically you, you can remove 
the saw scabbard and the mount and uh, be able to, uh, they do also make a uh, tool holder that goes on the wall where you can remove this and actually put that on the tool holder and hang your saws on the wall with it. You've got your U-bolt and a, uh, this is a swiveling mounting bracket so uh, it allows you to tilt it and angle it in different directions if you needed to for clearance. Um, so we're going on here. Okay, we're going to get these snugged down and we'll be ready to, to put our scabbard on. And your bracket with this uh, SLS system, uh, it's got a little uh, release here. Um, so basically you just push in the little release and slide it down and it's locked on. And then your scabbard is going gonna, is gonna to slide in. And basically it's, it's going to lock itself in there. And you're good to go. Pretty easy install. Um, and like I say, if you want to remove this and uh, if you have the, the wall mount bracket, uh, you can just push in on that, pull it up, take your saw and go. As I said earlier, my website is a great place to find unique gifts for the tractor enthusiast and it helps support my channel and helps me continue to provide free videos for you. Some of the things that are there that would make a great Father's Day gift include tractor lights that help you work outside after dark safely, a tractor caddy that allows you to store things on your tractor roll bar without drilling a hole in the roll bar and carry them to the field. Pat's Easy Change, a unique way of hooking up a three-point implement that makes hooking and unhooking attachments a lot easier. A rhino hide canopy, a tough canopy that also comes off the tractor, so if you're going out in the woods, you can take it off. Cylinder stops, where you can raise your loader in the air, put the stops underneath, and work on your tractor safely underneath without worrying about the loader coming down on top of you. There's a lube shuttle grease gun with a screw-in canister that takes the mess out of greasing. New for the website is tractor seats. If you're looking for a particular model of tractor and want to get a new seat, you can do that on my website. And finally, rear view cameras. If you want to watch your brush hog and not have to turn around constantly, put a backup or rear view camera on your tractor. Those are available on my website. To get to my website, go to asktractormike.com. Happy Father's Day and thanks for watching.